Back down inside, O'Brien turns and scores. Wow. Good, good for her. Good for her is right. Jen Warden back down inside. Little jump hook off the window, too, for Kayla Raymond. Final 2.03 of the opening quarter. Ziliak left open in the corner and spins it home. Shot clock down inside seven. Trying to go inside, but instead just shooting it over everyone is Gabby Reuter for her first bucket of the day. Be quick, but don't hurry. It looks like they hurried a few shots, both teams. Now the ball deflected on the end line. It comes back to Warden. She'll size up a three ball and knock it down. Around the screen from Megan Hill. Bullet pass inside for Hill. Score the basket and the foul. Bramante for Kayla Raymond. Long three. And her team leads by two. Here comes Kayla Raymond. Gabby Reuter. Now the bounce pass inside. Oh, is that pretty? There's two for Reuter. Spectacular pass from Emily Bramante. Now Warden. Inside Raymond. Won't get that one, but got her own rebound and scores. Back outside, Ziliak. Long three, knocks it down. Ramonti. Outside, they left Shaw open. Raymond. Somehow got that back inside. How did that hook pass get there? Gabby Reuter with 11 points. Carter, back down inside. Kayla Raymond gives it back up. Ramonti steps in with three and knocks it down. However, time now running out on the Penmen. Inside, little floater on the baseline. Score the basket for Gabby Reuter. Right across the way, acknowledging the effort. The Skyhawks came from three back at halftime. Held Southern New Hampshire to just 25 points in the second half. And that'll do it. Final score, Stonehill 68, Southern New Hampshire 55. Gabby Reuter, congratulations. Thank you. What did this game mean to you as a senior? Um, this is a really important game to me and obviously the other seniors. Um, last official regular season home game was huge and then obviously for us to clench the regular season champs was huge. So this was an amazing, huge game for us. Is it something you talk about before the game among the seniors especially? Oh, definitely. We all live together so obviously we talk it up and Obviously, it was a really important, meaningful game to us. First half, you were down three. What, what changed in the third quarter? Um, I think just our defensive urgency. We need to get stops. Um, rebounding was huge for us. Um, I think that was our main focus, was just to have high hands and not let them get shots off and get hot. They only scored 25 yeah. points in the second half. Yep. So you have a little time off now, but you'll be back here in eight days, a yep. week from Sunday. <laughs> oh, yeah. Number two in the East, that's uh, quite an accomplishment. Yeah. What's the difference? What's the difference between last year, the year before? Why are you at the 20 win plateau this year? I think just the team chemistry that we have is kind of undeniable. We all work hard. We all play for each other and want to get better each day. Um, even the underclassmen who don't get as many minutes, they work so hard. They've been working really hard this little last stretch of the season just to make us better. Um, so it's been really good. I think everyone buys into this team, which is awesome. You're a leader. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Enjoyed it. It was fun. I'm so I'm so happy for this group. They they just do things right in terms of their character, their work ethic. You know the the chemistry this year we knew from the get go was great, and it, you know all of those things make a big difference. As as you mentioned, that to start the season, we certainly you know had some major injuries and then Bella going down, but you know we this group just finds a way, and I, I think. You know, it's senior day, and we were, we were able to celebrate four phenomenal seniors, but I think their leadership has made such a difference for us. When you, you look at that senior class, you know, I think their, just their consistency has been, you know, the most impressive, and Gab's had some great games. And, you know, defensively, Gabby's guarding the, the toughest post players in the league, and, you know, Kelsey's guarding their best guards, and those two defensively, those are the things that don't show up on a stat sheet. That has made a world of difference for us. And like you said, Grace had a great game tonight um, doing the little things and, and knocked down a couple big shots. And even Morgan O'Brien being able to start in, a, in a, a tough matchup, you know, athletically, snooze very hard to guard. And, and I thought Morgan did a great job. You know, we've talked about this, just our depth in terms of, you know, different games, different kids coming off the bench and being able to step up. You know, tonight Meg made a, a, a great 
uh, great difference when she came into the game. This comes at a great time, and, and you know, I'm so proud of these guys for finishing up so strong today. And then we have the bye on Tuesday and obviously a bye on Friday for the first round. So it'll give us a nice chance to, to rest some kids and, you know, focus on some different things in terms of preparation for, for Sunday's game. And, you know, you know this time of year you get – very, it, it, it's kind of a grind in terms of, you know, play, two practices, play, and we'll have some time to kind of step back and clean some things up this next week, which will be good. We, we couldn't be happier in terms of, you know, putting ourselves in a good spot in, in terms of, you know, the, the teams in the top of the league and how we've competed against them. and. You know, the ability to obviously get some home games here in the tournament would be really fantastic, is really fantastic. Um, but, yeah, we'll just keep it. What, what got us here is just a, a good mentality from this team in terms of, you know, one game at a time. So just got to keep it there.